morning guys, I'm Siobhan, a second year internal medicine resident, but today I just got to the hospital and I'm not here as a doctor, I'm actually here to be shadowing an ICU nurse. Okay, gotta find Amy now. Uh, here she is. Good morning. Good morning, <laughs> YouTubers. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me along today. My pleasure. So my plan is not to slow you down at all. In fact, I'm gonna learn and hopefully you can put me to work because Absolutely. I actually wanna see what I think you're, you're doing. Be a great helper. All right, so what do we start off doing this morning? So the first thing I do is uh, I get report from the night shift nurse. So I got report on the two patients mm -hmm. and then we just get organized for the day. First thing is to check out the morning blood work. Actually, the same thing I would normally do as a doctor. Luckily, there were no major issues, so we didn't have to pay to the poor on-call resident. Next, Amy's going through and figuring out which medications need to be given at what times. This would probably be a lot easier if it was all automated on the computer, but we're not quite there yet. Hey. Oh, hey! How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Great person. Hey, how's it going? Good. I'm on yes. the other side today. <laughs> we, act we actually have somebody uh, allotted to organize breaks so we can all try and get a break today. So the code pagers are Dahlia on the other side and Christine on this side. All right, thanks, Chick. <laughs> all right, so we're on third break. Okay, I'm already liking this. As a resident, we're always, I think I'm always a little bit jealous that you guys get. Um, scheduled in breaks. Um, we find time to have breaks and eat and all sorts of things, but having it organized is really nice and you're guaranteed some time. Okay, now let's head over to our other patient and organize their schedule for the day. There goes the code blue team. I jumped to my feet when I heard the code blue. It's so weird not to go running with them. Now the job is to get the code blue room set up so if this patient who survives needs to come down to the ICU, we have to get a room ready for them. Brian, one of the respiratory therapists, is getting equipment ready so the patient can be placed on life support immediately. What's that for, Amy? It's a slider board so that we can slide the patient over from their bed onto our ICU bed. Without wrecking your backs. Without wrecking your backs. <laughs> the room's ready. But sadly, the patient didn't survive long enough to make it down to the ICU. So we switched gears and we're heading back to our patients now. <laughs> Come on down, Kathy. Nice we're just going to finish off our quick huddle. We are fully staffed today. Yay! <gasps> So this is the huddle, and it's a time for nursing and respiratory therapists to get together and talk about active patient issues. For instance, it's important to know if there's a sick patient around the corner from you so that you're ready to pitch in and help at a moment's notice. Next, we're heading in to assess our patients, which is really similar to what I do as a resident. So asking questions about how the patient is feeling and doing a physical exam. Okay, so the patient doesn't have a bedside table, so I don't know how she is supposed to eat, so I'm gonna go hunt for one. Don't see an extra one over. Looking for an extra bedside table? No way. Yeah. Hot commodity? <laughs> okay, we'll try to find one. Woohoo! Okay, got it. Honestly, that was not as easy as you would think. Perfect little powder so I can mix it with some water and put it down a tube. Okay, round one. Okay, so all the medications have been given and we've signed off on everything and now it's all about the dreaded charting. The charting. Not a big fan of charting. I don't think you're the only one. I hear this from pretty much everyone. Oh, it's horrible. So it's I'm just... gonna experience the real deal. You are gonna experience it. <laughs> We're starting with uh, page one so far. Oh gosh, how many yeah. pages? Um I, you know what, I've, I've actually lost track of how many, but I'd say close to 25. Oh my gosh, okay, I'll be counting. On one patient, and we have two. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's so much worse. So we're gonna power through it. Okay, let's do it, let's do it. Because <laughs> we got rounds in like five-ish five minutes. minutes. You can see the, the medical team right now is just rounding. That's right. It's like two patients away. Yep. No, one patient one. away. It's just one. We're up next now. We don't know what to do at this point. We can wait. They could be a couple minutes. It could be a teaching session. Yeah, they could, could be, be like an 10 hour. Minutes or an hour. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So we're gonna assume that they're only gonna be a few minutes. So try not to engage into too much so that we can be available when they come and do rounds. Which is so nice, cause you know, having to do rounds without the bedside nurse is really not very helpful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. We like to think that too. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Absolutely. So neurologically, no deficits. No Sorry guys, you can't listen to this part. But this is an opportunity for the whole medical team, the nurses, respiratory therapists, residents, and the attending physician to discuss each medical issue systematically and then create a plan. Okay, we have now done rounds on our second patient and now it's break time. Although, it's only five to 11, so I guess it won't last that long. going to do a coffee run or as you guys know tea run I like my teas and I'm gonna get Amy a tea even though she said she doesn't want one I feel like I've gotta thank her for allowing me this opportunity um, my other big thing I want to do this today is um, start some IVs I know it sounds silly like I can put in central lines and I can do procedures but we don't get a lot of practice with IVs the nursing does all of them here really um, and it's a skill I think we need to have so I need some practice <laughs> So I think my favorite thing so far is just seeing the environment here with the nurses working together, walking down the halls, people are saying, oh, can I help you with anything? How are you doing? Like it's just a nice environment. And I don't know if it's just here in the ICU because um, the nursing stations are set up outside patient rooms like this, or if it's like that in all of nursing. But I don't know, it's, it's a really great environment. Okay, so what, we're at now 12.30? Mm -hmm. How are we doing? Um, still a bit behind. Definitely, okay. definitely behind in charting. Charting. Definitely. Okay. Some personal care. Yep. Some fluffing. You know, spa days. Yeah. <laughs> so patients get washed and cared for every single day, which is every so day. important. And um, again, just want to look at her chest to make sure it's um, working well still. Yeah. And we've had to make a few changes on the ventilator, so just kind of see how she's responded in terms of those changes to the ventilator. As long as it's in like small doses. Okay, so we're right, so we gonna gather all the items that we need to do a complete bed bath. Oh, excellent! <laughs> so bed bath we'll and beyond. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, I think we're ready. Perfect. And the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sneak in here. So we're gonna do a little shopping. Oh. So I know our other patient, she would like to brush her teeth, so we're gonna have a toothbrush. Excellent. And toothpaste. Excellent. And. Her mouth has been a little bit dry, so I'm gonna give her this little spray. All right. Okay, I haven't been part of this other side of all of the, the patient care part. I'm usually waiting on the other side of the, uh, of the curtain, waiting for it all to get done so I can go into the patient. So, get to be part of the action. <laughs> Caring for a person while they're so vulnerable is really a privilege. I'm struck by the way Amy creates an environment of respect and dignity for the patient while still remaining efficient. It also gives me a huge insight into how physically demanding nursing can be. All right, care done. Yep, care done. Meds have been given. Mm -hmm. Now, multiple times. yeah, multiple <laughs> times. Charted multiple times. Multiple times. <laughs> There's probably more to go. <laughs> what about the other patient? We need to. Anything going on? Uh, not really anything going on at the moment. We'll see the other nurses kind of popped in uh, to see if she needed some care done, but it looks like we have to deal with some hypotension in this room. Oh, low blood pressure. Gotta right, go. Back at you. All right, so with that low blood pressure, we just went and um, spoke with the resident. It's kind of funny. He's uh, one of the first year internal medicine residents, so he's one of my juniors, but of course I'm not in that role right now. So got him to come over and assess the patient. And actually we ended up just changing the position of the patient and blood pressure came right back up. So it was an easy fix, which is always nice. Well, the pressure's low again. We just chatted with the resident and fellow that are on and mm -hmm. they concur with us. Pressure is like still low, bolus. You guys know what that is? That means we just give a bunch of fluid reasonably quickly and that should improve it. So this will just go into them. All right, perfect. Go. Let's hope it helps. While we wait for the bolus to finish, it's time to go and give our other patients some medications. Tubing for the propofol. Propofol. Tubing. Look at it go. Ooh. Ah. So, take one out. It's like our little portable pharmacy here. Fantastic. <laughs> Early. 
Exactly. <laughs> How many times have you done this? <laughs> it's my first day. You okay? <laughs> Time for our lunch break now, the second break. Um, I'll show you what the break room's like. So we have just about made it till seven o'clock. Almost, almost done the whole 12 hours. Four minutes shy. And um, Jessica, who's the nurse that's taking over, um, we're gonna give her hand over. That's right. It's an exciting time for us because we get to go home. Oh. The end is near. <laughs> this has been such a fun day. Thank you so much. Um, there's something about your compassion and your caring, not just to patients who are awake and talking to you, but the ones who are not conscious. You give them just as much care and respect and dignity, and it's really amazing. And the way you are with your colleagues. So this day has made you want to be better and to continue always acting as you do in my career. It's really been Aww. a fantastic day. So thank you so, so, so much. No, thank you. I appreciated having you here. It was, it was, it was a fun day. It, it was. was a very educational, informative day, but it was very fun. So if you guys have any questions about um, what it was like, what the role of the nurses, um, you know, comment below. We would love to hear about it and maybe there'll be a follow-up video if there are a lot of questions. So bye for now. Bye.